Okay, today we're going to show you how to install a system in a car. We're going to break it down into the front of the wire, uh, installing the head unit, removing the head unit, installing it and whatnot, putting the amplifier in, and speakers. Uh, this is a box. I didn't get the chance to make a video of it. Uh, just a quick box I slapped together. It's uh, one and a quarter each side. It's got a three by eight inch vent, which is uh, the specs on the particular uh, subwoofer we're using. It's ideal. Uh, box size and it's going in my daughter's 95 grand amp. So first thing we'll do is we'll take out the uh, the head unit and uh, Sorry for the poor lighting. It's not real good in here Set you up right here First thing you want to do is you want to open up That's, Sorry about that open up the, uh, the cup holder There's a set of screws in here Take these out. And we're going to continue. There's six of them. We'll take all, all those out and we will move on to the next step. So stay tuned. Okay, once that's done, you just literally pull the whole unit out and you'll be able to see that this side has now become loose. You've got to go to the uh, other side around and more on the box well I'll put the box in another video anyway and then uh, down here there is a I believe it is a uh, let's see what size it is there's a nut down here fortunately okay once you've taken those six screws out um, you simply pull the whole assembly out. You'll notice the right hand side there is uh, loose now. Now you need to come over to the driver's compartment. There's a nut down here you've got to take out. This will loosen this whole side out, this bolster. And it just clamps in. Sorry about that. Kick the camera. And you don't really have to get it out all the way. And then there is one other screw on, I'll get over here. There's the bike, EPA, I haven't had a chance to ride it yet. There is a screw, get you out of the tripod here. Right there, that needs to come out. And then uh, that's it. That holds that top plastic piece in. We'll go ahead and take that out and we'll move on to the next step, so stay tuned. Actually, before I go on, there is another screw back there too. Um, I've already taken that one out. I just got ready to pull it and notice that. So we'll take that screw out. I think that is all there is. Yeah, that appears to be it. And uh, we'll take that out and then we'll move to the next step, so stay tuned. Okay, we've got that last screw out. Simply just pull the whole thing off. Let me take a little bit of finagling. Actually, it probably would be easier if I had the gear selector and gear instead of park. But you can get it out without it. Um, and for those of you wondering, this process is it's similar on a lot of GM vehicles. Um, 98 or somewhere thereabouts and lower. So. But installing the radio, I'll show you how to do that. Um, that's very similar on all of them. So here's the radio. There are two bolts up the top, and that may be it on this unit. Um, let me get the right size uh, nut driver, and we'll go from there. Okay, that was all that was holding it on. There's these two nuts that are top of here. You need to wiggle it out. Here's this one has the mini plug, although it should not. So that's a little bit of a problem there. And uh, those were not supposed to start till around 98. And then unplug the uh, harness. And that should just clamp in there. Should have a. There we go. There's the radio. 
out the factory radio and um, when we come back we will uh, first before we get back to this we'll make a video on uh, wiring up the new radio and I've got to run the wires for the amp and everything but we'll we'll leave that for another video we'll sh come back to this installing it um, into the vehicle so stay tuned okay we've got it in the car here just uh, plugged it in just to make sure it works you can see my daughter's car lots pink and there it is also I don't know if you can see that the uh, display it, it changes color you can do uh, reds greens pinks whatever you want so we will be back and we will uh, put the uh, mounting kit in so stay tuned okay again sorry for the poor lighting putting in the car is uh, the same as taking the old one out just put it in tighten those two bolts up there hook up all, all the wiring to the back of the radio which uh, you should know how to do that the only extra wire we have We've already connected the remote wire to the harness, and then we've got a pair of RCA because we are putting an amplifier in this. Um, and then button up the dash the exact opposite way it came off. So I'm not re really going to show that kind of redundant. But uh, anyway, that's it. Please feel free to post any questions or comments. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.